When history's a mystery and you don't know what to do, call Sherlock Bones and he will help sniff out some clues for you. Why, hello there. It is I, Sherlock Bones. I was just thinking about time and how quickly it seems to pass. It seems like just yesterday I was a young pup just starting out on my history detective journey. Looking through old photographs helps remind me of the way things were in my youth. Photographs can help teach us about history as well. I think I will take a peek into my photograph collection and see what history I can find there. This is the cabinet where I store my photographs, photo albums and slides. There are lots of memories inside of this cabinet, but let's take a closer look at this box in particular. I must admit, I don't even remember what's inside of here. Ah yes, now I remember. This is a box of historical photos. Actually, the views in these photographs are quite familiar. I'm sure I've seen them before at Rancho Los Cerritos. I will head over there to investigate where they might have been taken. I'm here at Rancho Los Cerritos. Now, where might this first photograph have been taken? This photograph seems quite old. It shows the two-storey part of the adobe house, so it must have been taken somewhere near here. Here is another photograph that shows the two-storey part of the house. There are some differences between the two, but could they have been taken in the same place? Do you think these two photographs could have been taken in the same place at different times? I believe they were. Both seem to show the same corner of the inner courtyard. Aha! I do believe I have found the spot. And it looks quite similar today. This next photograph shows an outside corner of the house. I do believe it was taken from over here by the Wisteria Arbor. In this last photograph, you can see the entire house. Now, where could this have been taken? Oh, I do believe it was taken from over here, though the trees certainly have grown since then. Rancho Los Cerritos today actually looks quite similar to those photographs from the 1930s. That is because, as a museum, the history of the house has been, and continues to be, preserved. The museum uses photographs like these, and other artefacts, to make sure that the history being shared with the public is as accurate as possible. Thanks to photographs, we know what the house looked like in the various chapters of its history. As a working ranch, as an apartment with many tenants, as a private family home, and now as a museum. I hope that you will visit Rancho Los Cerritos soon and perhaps take some photographs yourself. Until we meet again, fellow history detectives. Thank you.